Good morning. Uh, good evening, I mean. <laughs> Welcome to Yin Yoga, everybody. I'm just going to wait for people to slowly come in and make sure that everything is going smoothly in regards to audio and visual. Hello, 大家好. Welcome. 我們今天晚上做Yin Brenda. Right? Okay. So as long as they're able to hear and see, everything is good. How is everybody feeling? 大家今天好嗎? Hey, Karis. Hi. So today is going to be a little bit slower, a little bit, um, um, I always say yin yoga is, is slow paced, but it has its own challenges, right? Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, I was like, <laughs> Thank you, Karen, for letting me know loud and clear. So, I just so uh, if you're new to yin yoga, welcome. Um, if you've practiced before yin yoga at any studios, I'm sure you understand that, you know, it has its, um, you know, its own different types of challenges, you know. Uh, sometimes it's actually even a little bit harder. Hello, hello, Michael, hello. Thank you, thank you. So obviously during this time, if you have anything you want to share with me, good evening, if you have any uh, injuries or anything, or if you have any experiences with your past practices that you want to just kind of give me a heads up or just share with me, you can, right? I'm always early. Um, we have like at least two minutes together. So it'd be good to kind of like connect here. Right, so if you have anything you want to share with me, for example, about yin yoga or about your own body or just let me know how you're feeling. How are you feeling with all these online classes? You know, how, where, where do you find you're really benefiting from them and where are your challenges from? Hello everybody, hello. You know, for me, um, for yin yoga, it, it's very, very challenging for those in the tight group, right? I was very, very extremely physically um, tight, you know, my, my backs, my legs, everything. So, you know, we all have our things that we're working on now, right? So really just kind of, you know, go to your challenge point and even more importantly now, you need to trust the breath and please trust me. <laughs> Hello. Eliza. I am. Guys, I thank you. Thank you. Um, have you guys been back at the studio? Um, I'll be back at the studio tomorrow. I'll be teaching a few classes tomorrow, uh, kind of tea time, early evening. So I'll be there tomorrow. You love online classes. That's great. Yeah. So before we come into the practice, I want to say that we'll be holding the poses a little bit longer. Right. Um, and I want you to possibly you know we made the effort to click the button watch the video you made the effort to put your mat out and make sure the angle of your phone is right so why don't we just see if we can commit to just staying for the whole practice and staying in each hold that we're doing right so Okay. Okay, good. So um again, hello, is there any yin pose for the hip flexors? Ooh, yeah, the hip flexors also known kind of as like the deep psoas muscles. Uh today we're doing um so in my brain right now I have a sequence, right? But uh for those that know me or have been to my class, um we it's all about improvi improvisation, right? So obviously when I see you I can observe the students, but because we're online, your feedback like this is very important. So for the SOAS we're doing a lot of uh oh, oh yeah. So do you have a block? Um make sure you have a block because we're going to do some uh, supine soart stretches right so make sure i'll give you one minute <laughs> if you don't have a block you can just do like a towel and like wrap it like this like a hot dog right like this so obviously it won't have the the foundation as sturdy as a block 
but it, you know it's better than nothing because we will be opening up the upper back area and then we'll be uh, also at the same time stretching our psoas muscles in the pose okay so get what you need um and you know what's really good about online classes is that it's like I, I remember doing uh, an online yin class and then I just wore my pajamas like I just wore a robe so be comfortable okay 儘量舒服,因為我之前上過陰瑜伽堂,我直接著睡衣去做的。所以而家我睇唔到你的。所以儘量make so sure你著啲衫去舒服,so make sure you're in very comfy PJs or yoga pants. Actually my PJ my pajamas are just old yoga pants, right? So like over 10 15 years old. Okay. I try enjoying class challenge. Yes, it's super challenging and stay with me, okay? Stay in the pose as much as you can. So if you have the block and a towel, just place it anywhere that's near you that you're able to get later. I'm gonna place it over here. I should have a block so I don't need the towel. Okay, and just come to your mat and sit down. I'm gonna swipe the comments. Hello, Jackie from Shanghai. Hello, hi Stella. Okay, hi Margie. Okay, I'm gonna I swipe the comments so I can't see you anymore. Uh, we can talk a little bit after class. Yeah. So, um, I've had a few inquiries in regards to mat. Uh, everybody has their favorite mats, right? I absolutely love this mat because it's very big and it's very thick. Yeah, this is like probably six six millimeters. All right. So if you really enjoy the yin practice, um, you know it, it's good to practice on your bed. My bed is just like right here, but you have the you know the floor underneath this mat, so it's good for you to go deep into those stretches, right? So again, um, we'll talk a little bit more later on. All right. Let me know if you have any questions because these things aren't like super important but anything that can help you progress in your practice is, is if it's available why not right okay so sit cross-legged kyoga chan though okay, make sure that your sit bones are grounded you know seeing how the body feels do i want to sit like this just kind of feel what is good for you okay and once you're in a comfortable seated position bring your hands onto your knees and bring your palms facing up okay, and close your eyes So when you are in a comfortable seated position, try to not to be overly, uh, what's that, overly coming, too much effort into the comfortable seated position. You know, sometimes we close our eyes and that yoga A plus student kicks in and we're like, oh, spine straight, shoulders relaxed, you know. I want you to be comfortable. Okay, so sit down. If you want to slouch, you can slouch. You know, just make sure that when you're breathing, you're actually able to feel the spine elongate. Right? So that's what's most important. So really feeling the space in between the vertebrae. Yeah, and as you soften, you feel like everything is melting down. Right? Your shoulders are softening. Okay, so they told that yeah, always know that you're more than welcome to sit on a block, elevate the hips if you have any tight hips or any knee issues. Yeah, as our eyes are closed, bring your focus of the eyes to the tip of the nose. Right, Take this moment to just have a short reflection on your day. You know, if you had a very tired day, you know, the weather is a little bit kind of gloomy, um, possibly it was raining a little bit. So it really depends, you know, just kind of reflect on how you feel. You know, if you're tired, if you're excited, you know, every, anything you feel is okay. And, and if you had any stresses in your day, take a moment to reflect on that. And then see what you've learned from that. You know, see what you could have uh, benefited from that incident or the scenario that's happened in your life just previously, maybe a few hours ago. Yeah, and see what you're able to learn from it. If there's nothing to learn, take this moment to just let it go. You know, release it. It happened. It's the past. What's important now is how we're feeling at this moment really dedicating your well-being to yourself, sitting here and just breathing. Okay, 
Take a few breaths together. Exhale through the nose, wherever you are. Fu hei bei ho. Inhale through the nose for four, three, two, one. Exhale through the nose, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, soften, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three. Feel the inner body grow brighter. One, exhale, four, three, two, one. Two more, inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three. Feel the heart smile. One, exhale, four, three. Feel the heart sigh. And one. Okay, come into a natural rhythm of breath. Joining your hands into your heart center. Stand up by some hao zhong gang. And together we open class with three ohms. Inhale through the nose. Gently bow your head. Hey, make the bye hapa. Again, let's enjoy this time together and have a beautiful practice together. Namaste. Okay, release the hands. Okay, slowly open your eyes. Good, and stay seated. If you need to change the cross of your legs, please do. Okay, so today we're going to be very floor based. Um, so make sure that you um, have everything around you to get. And if you need to make sure the phone is in the right position, uh, please make it now. So I want your best to see if we can just focus, just me and you, in front of the phone or iPad. Okay. Yeah, so bring your right hand, our left hand down to the floor. Inhale the right hand up. You take a moment here. Straighten the right hand all the way up to the sky. Your eyes are looking straight towards me. Yeah. Soften the shoulders down. Yeah. I want you to feel. The difference between, or, or that balance between the surrendering and softness of the shoulders, right? The lightness of the chest, but the energy of the hand moving up towards the sky. Good. Now feel the hips very grounded. Take an inhale. Good. Exhale. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Good. Jaw yi di hen jaw bo ka fang hang. Right. Also, the 感受到你个膊头放松，但个手系蹬行嘅。Yeah, so it doesn't have to be like super straight, no, right? So it's engaged as if all the muscles are hugging in towards the bone. You know, it's alive, it's energized. Good, hold here. Keep the ear dropping towards the left ear, the left shoulder. Good, take an inhale, exhale. Bend your left elbow and arch over towards your left and hold. Good, once you're here, drop the head more. Get to feel the stretch on the right side of the neck and hold here. If you have the openness, there's no rush. You can bring that left elbow down onto the mat. Okay, so it depends on how your flexibility is. Okay, but keep the chest open towards me and hold. Okay, drop the head. So make sure that your foundation is strong on the floor. Good. So the head have the the openness to move your head around. Make sure it's truthful, right? So it's not stiff on one place. You're really relaxing it down. Okay, now take your right hand. Reach it up again, and then reach down towards the floor on your right side. Yeah. So the good yao shan ji hang with zai ge fang hang. Right. So what you're doing is that you're energizing the right hand more, and you're really making that stretch on the right side of the neck a little bit more deep. And hold here. Yeah. Now take your chin. Now it's pointing towards the phone. Now pull your chin down towards your left armpit and hold. So you got half a ji hang. You got jaw kind of zai ge fang hang. And keep that right hand reaching down as if it wants to touch the mat. Holding here, just for about five more breaths. Let's go full cup. Right. So get the half hand, zi hand, jaw, gala dai. Right. Yao sao tai hand dai ha. Make sure that both sit bones are even in weight. Good. 
Now with your right hand, reach over and slowly pull yourself back into a straight position yeah, and come back into the center. Yeah, more than welcome to keep the eyes closed or the open, totally up to you. Reach your left hand up, jaw sa hand team. Get straight up to the sky. Relax the shoulders. Get, bring your right hand to the mat. Just prepare here. Hold here. Get, so, yang yu ga lai, kese mui go yu ga de hou la li wen go go ping hang. Right? Bing go wei zi hoi fong sung. Bing go wei zi hoi sou gan. Right? So, go jaw sou le di geo hai lam ju gao guat ge. Right? So, you're really hugging the muscles in towards the bone. You know, drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Go yao yi di hen yao bo ka fong hang. Right, so maybe you're having a bit of a stiff neck today. So take a moment to feel. Go again, what by being a I since you go the okay. You'll be light here and hold there. Okay? Now inhale, exhale, slowly arch over towards your right. Bend your left right elbow and arch over. Yeah, drop your head more. Take your time. Keep the left hand as a sort of guidance towards your pose right now. So it's still engaged. Again, if you bring if you brought the elbow down, right, try to bring it down towards the right side too and hold. Somehow hand you the ma, right? So your chest is facing towards the screen and hold here. Okay, drop your head a little bit more now. And then reach your left hand down towards the mat. Right? It's like it's like, oh help me up, help me up. Like you're really reaching and feel that stretch on the left side of the neck. How am I doing that? Close your eyes and see where I can put my head where oh there it is. There's a stretch. So have that freedom. I don't feel like you need to have to do something. Find that softness and relaxation. Now point your chin down towards your right armpit. Good, and feel the stretch more towards the front of the neck and hold. So try not to keep the left hand passive. You want to engage the left hand as much as you can. Good. Make sure the core is slightly pulled in. Hips are grounded evenly. Good. Now with the strength of the left hand, reach up. Slowly come back into a seated position. Spine is straight. Hands on your knees. Come back into your sukhasana and hold. Good. Take a few breaths here. Lengthen your spine. Good. If you need to change the cross of your legs, do it now. You go so you take a tiu gao ha ling wo zai ge zai yi ga zhou. Good. Hold on to your knees and puff the chest up to the sky. Yeah, so jump, 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 Good, hold here. So your chin is up in a 45 degree angle. Good, and you're shining your heart forward. And you're really working on the shoulder blades working, uh, squeezing together. Good. Keep your hands engaged. Hands are strong. Good, try your best not to drop the head just yet. I want you to shine it forward. So, go somehow, head, so, go, I say, I'm not going to shine. Good. If you do drop the head back, make sure the shoulders are not shrugged, okay? Then you can drop the head back. Good. So you don't feel like you're unable to breathe or talk. Everything is lifting up. Good. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Pull a little bit more with the hands, shine the heart. Good. Feel the openness of the front of the body. Good. Now slowly bring your chin back down. Good. And come into a straight spine, spine position. Good. This time, pull your belly button in and curl your spine. Yeah, that's So as if you're gonna fall back, but your hands are saving you. Yeah. So pull back and feel the spine. Relax the shoulders. Hold here. Just a few breaths here, just to get a feel of the spine today and how it is. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, and one. Inhale. Slowly come back. Neutralize the spine, come back into a comfortable seated position. Yeah, now bring your hands into your heart center. Yeah, now reach your palms up and bring your elbows together. Yeah, hold here. So your elbows are just kind of uh, 90 degrees. Go so though and hold here. Yeah, palms are together. So you feel the circular part of the palm and all the fingertips touching towards each other. Good. You can gently drop your head in any comfortable position. But again, let the breath remind your spine to lengthen. Okay. Now inhale, lift your elbows up to the sky. You should feel the stretch in the front of the arms, so around this area. All right. Keep it lifting up and hold. Try to not let your elbows open. 
伸展下，伸展下前膊嘅方向。So you can feel the stretch in the front of the shoulders and hold here. Yeah. So there's a natural lordosis curve on the lower back, right? So but try not to emphasize it where the rib cage is sticking out. Okay, so sitting in neutral. Squeeze the elbows together, reach your hands up a little bit more. Breathe into that shoulder stretch area. So chin and tau hei dao shu shu. If you can go a little bit higher, go a little bit higher. Feel the shoulders holding for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release the hands, bring them on your knees. Take a breath here and exhale. We're going to do that one more time. See if we can bring the elbows a little bit higher now. Okay, so palms into your heart center. Stand up, stand up, hold your gun. Yeah, make sure the lower abdomen is pulled in. The rib cage is not sticking out. Pull it in. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. Bring your elbows together. Take a moment here. Squid. So as if you had something very important that's in between your elbows. Okay, and lift up, lift up, and hold. So you might feel a little bit of shaking, right, or a little bit of tension in the front of the shoulders, holding here. Good. So as if your sit bones are two feet, right. I want you to press the sit bones down and reach your hands up. Good. Holding for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release the hands. Yeah, switch the feet if you need to, or if you like wherever you are, stay there and just fold forward. Bring your forehead onto the mat. Here comes the block. Bring your block onto a、uh, head onto the block, or if you need any sort of modification, okay. If it's okay to lie on the mat, just reach forward and relax the head. Yeah, so make sure the sit bones aren't lifted too high. So 尽量个拍板冇离开嗰个嗰个脊太太高 ，and hold here. Lift your shin forward and slowly come up into a cat and cow position. Good. So just stay in cat and cow. Go this way. Toes are tucked. Good. See your body hug and hold. Now from here, this is a natural neutral position. Your core is pulled in. I want you to drop the belly down and move the sit bones back and lift the chin. Right. So I want you to like lift the head down and lift the chin. 咪跟住個 pebble 向後推，雙手推走個地下。Yeah, if you need to slightly shrug the shoulders, it's okay. Okay, so it's gonna work. Try our best to make it a little bit more passive than we usually do. So if you want to drop down, you can, but make sure the distance from the ears and the shoulders are away from each other. Right, 就算個膊頭縮高唔緊要，但唔好俾佢近呢個耳仔。Okay, hold here. Yeah, so bring your chin. Facing the chest and look down to your mat. Mong chu ko de, mong chu ko de. Good. I just want you to tuck your tailbone underneath you and then curl your spine. Yeah. So don't need to bring the chin down. Just look down and feel the opposite stretch now, and hold. Good. As you look down, your eyes may be closed or open, but I want you to soften the face, soften the toes. And use the energy of the belly pulling in towards the spine, and slowly come into your neutral position and hold. Feng Song, hold you. Yeah, so we're going to do the cat and cow version of thread the needle.、Right, so bring your left hand slightly forward, yeah, and thread the right hand towards your left. Bring the right shoulder down onto the mat. Go yao bok tabai deha. Keep your left hand here and push away. Right, so. If your practice is to bring the left hand behind you to hold the thigh, you can. I personally really like bringing my hand and pushing and opening the chest. Get it? Close your eyes here. So the 右手系伸展紧向左边，个左手咧摆向嗰个手臂前边，帮你推开个手多少少。So you're pushing the the chest away and feel the stretch, feel the twist. Hold here. Relax the head. Right. 个头最紧系摆得舒服。Again, you're pressing the left hand down, but you're softening the shoulders. Yeah, finding that sweet spot in between strength and surrender. Remember to relax the neck. Okay, so the head is relaxed on the mat. Go tao yun chun yu fang song ge. 
Right? You can experiment to where you want to place the left hand. Right? If it wants to be down here, if it wants to be here, there, um, there's no wrong. So whatever's comfortable, okay? Holding for a few more breaths. Okay, but if you're feeling good, open a little bit more. Yeah, so relax for a moment here. So bring the left shoulder down a little bit. And bring your left hand and push up back into cat and cow position. And hold. Good. Other side. So thread the left hand over towards your right. Good. Rest the left shoulder down. The right hand goes in the front to open the chest. And hold. So if you are going to bind, make sure that the right hand goes back and holds the inside of the left thigh. Okay, if that's too much for you, keep your hand on the floor to push and help open. It's okay. so whatever feels good. So making sure that the weight on both of the knees is even and you're opening, right? So the same concept as when we're in Sukhasana, you're inhaling, lengthening, and you're exhaling, softening. So keep that momentum of the breath for five, four, three, two, and one. Relax for a second, then bring the right hand down, push up, come into a cat and cow position just to neutralize. Okay, now bring your knees together, coming into Balasana, toes are pointing, bring your hips on towards the heels, hands reaching back, palms facing up, forehead on the mat. So this child's pose is a little bit more constricting, right? Sometimes people feel it in the hip flexors, some people feel it um, in the lower back, you know, because this is sometimes quite a, a gentle, gentle deep stretch for the lower back. Okay, for those that have um, any constrictions, make sure you use the block, which is just underneath your forehead. Good, and relax your hands back. Holding for 10 breaths, Sakho Fuka. As you're holding, reminding yourself to relax your jaw, relax the face. Good. and feel even in the weight that's grounded onto the mat. Right? So your tops of the feet to the knees, right? to the tops of the arms and the forehead. Right? If you feel too much pressure in a place, like maybe the forehead's taking too much weight, possibly just elevate your head a little bit with a block or a towel. Right? Two more breaths and I'll go full cup. Good. Bring your hands below the shoulders. Slowly inhale, push up. Here, take a moment here. Relax. Good. And come into a seated position. So sit down and extend your right leg forward, yoga center. Good. So you're in a Janish or Shasana position and hold here. Good. So uh, automatically, you know, even for me, once the leg is a stretch forward, you're like, <laughs> your leg is strong, your spine is straight. Take a moment to just go, just kind of be comfortable, just like oh, chill out a little bit. Okay, now take a look at the right foot. When you relax it, what happens, right? Right, the toe will turn out to the right, and that's okay today. Okay, so I want you to just come into that comfortable, relaxed position, okay? So we're gonna move into three angles of Janna Shashasana. So make sure that you have the space and make sure that the block is somewhere around you. Okay, I'll keep it here. So I'll show you how to use it. So the first one we're gonna do is a twist and stretch. Okay, so twist is a twist towards the foot, and stretch is your body folding forward. Good. So just take a moment and come into 80% of the stretch, basi. Okay, and hold it here, relax the foot. Good. Sometimes a good idea is just to have that block on your foot, and you can rest the forehead here. Yeah, so that's one way you can do it. So if you're able to go deep, um, you can but I want you to commit to holding this for two to three minutes, okay? Uh, so we will hold it for two to three minutes, so we can use it to go to the back of the body. Okay, so come to your 80% and just hold. 
So as you're in your 80%, I want you to focus on relaxing that foot, relaxing that leg, let it kind of flop over. Right? When we come into these stretches, you know, we always engage the muscles to really protect the muscles. Right? But in yin, what we're trying to do is really relax the body and start to get that stretch deep into the ligament areas, okay, the connective tissues. Okay? Um, the reason why we don't go to 100% is that we're able to reach that 100%, but it's extremely hard to hold it there. Okay, so when you go to 80%, and then as time goes by, we have about two more minutes, then you can slowly go deeper and deeper into the pose. Okay, once you have that moment of resistance, where the body's like, ah, ah, and you want to get out, I want you to breathe through it. Okay, inhales and exhales. Right, you know, they go that light, it's like a little bit not when we come into a pose um, with awareness, there's not much space for you to injure yourself. Okay, so I want you to take that moment for yourself to be aware and then go deeper and deeper. Okay, if the muscles are trying to like contract and release, contract and release, Breathe into the muscles and go deeper. Last minute, you want to find your Okay, and If you don't feel any stretch whatsoever, um, <laughs> that's probably pretty amazing if you don't. Right? But I want you to move the leg around until you feel the stretch in the hamstrings, okay? So you go like that, you should have more gamma gogger. Right, um, so Last 30 seconds, just Okay, so how do I go deeper yet be passive with the leg? Okay, so use your Uriana Banda. Lower abdomen pulls in. Keep the twist of the body and go a little bit more. Relax the face. Last 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, exhale deeper, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your palms underneath the shoulders. Take your time, go slowly. Inhale, come back up. Okay, so keep your body at about a 45 to 60 degree angle. So don't sit all the way up just yet, so stay here. Okay, walk both hands to the inside of the feet. Yeah, so if you're right at the middle point of between the knee and the right leg. Okay, take a moment here. Inhale. Exhale and come to your 80% high the bossing and hold. Okay, so maybe here you feel the stretch. Possibly some people feel it in the inner groin area, in the hips, or wherever it is, just breathe. Okay? So make sure you relax the head. And I'm lifting my head because I'm talking to you and I'm afraid my voice might be muffled onto the ground. So I want you just to relax your head. So inhale and exhale, release in those areas of tightness. Okay, go a little bit deeper. Remind your leg to relax. Okay, go yoga, fong song. Good, and breathe deeper. So this is where sometimes thicker mats can help you. You know, sometimes if you're a very thin mat or you're on the floor, you might have a lot of pressure, possibly under the heel and everything. And so if that's the issue now, um, put a towel underneath the foot, do something, but otherwise go a little bit deeper. Yeah, so, so maybe you're 95%, 100%. So where you are, just kind of breathe in towards it and relax the body. Yeah, so me just lifting my head, talking to you, I feel the stress in my upper back, right? So make sure that you find that area and relax. Feng song, feng song, feng song. Okay, going a little bit deeper now. Holding for 30 more seconds. Sounds like you're sleeping. Know that every millimeter means a lot. Every movement means a lot. Right? Make the effort to go deep, deep into the pose. Try best not to come out of the pose. Five. 
four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands down underneath the shoulders, slowly come back up. So stay in that 45 degree angle, keep your head, chin slightly down. Okay, now walk your hands over towards your left knee now. So we sell hand her with jaws and her vocal phone. Yeah, and hold. Yeah, so knowing what your flexibility is, make sure that you have the block. If you need the block and you know it, bring it towards the inside of the right knee. Okay? And hold. Now lean over towards your right elbow and place it on the block. Right, your little yao shou zhan, ba hen go jun shen bin. So if you know you have that flexibility, you don't have to have the block. Okay, just bring your elbow to the inside of the knee and hold. So go jun bo chu hen dou. So if you have the block, keep it there and hold. Okay, take your left hand on your left knee and push the body back a little bit. As if you're trying to open up a page of a book and you're opening your chest over towards the left and hold. Yeah. Now the head can be in any position you like. Okay, but make sure the head, if it drops down, it doesn't pull the left shoulder down. Okay, so keep it open. Yeah. If you want to go deeper now, you can slowly walk your elbow forward. So right now it's the inner thigh. You're walking down towards the inner foot and hold. Keep the chest open, get your thigh hugger somehow. So we're trying to find length in the first few breaths. So you can your block it forward a little bit more to lengthen. And make sure the neck is relaxed. You should fall from TK. So close your eyes, how am I doing on? And then breathe in towards this area of stretch. So for me, it's a left waist area. I feel that stretch there, yeah? So there's no tension in my head. I feel the stretch on the left side of the body. Yeah, now take a moment to focus on the right side of the body. Inhale, lengthen the right waist a little bit more. Yeah, then exhale, relax back down. So bring your head anywhere that's comfortable. Yeah, so the left hand could be anywhere that's helping you open the chest. Yeah, you can go up and over, it's up to you, right? Whatever your, your, side, your side stretch practice is, you can go in that yeah, and hold. Yeah, so if the neck is a bit stiff, try looking down, resting the head on your arm, right? or just bringing your elbow, bending your elbow and bringing your hand on your head, you can stay here. Yeah, so how do I deepen the stretch with this position? My head is gum. Right, walk your elbow forward a little bit more, yeah, and twist. Good, holding for five more breaths. We'll go full cut. Okay, bring your left hand in front of you. Slowly walk your hands back into a neutral spine position. Now we're going to sit all the way up. So hold it to you, you got, and hold. Good. And switching sides, Ling Robin. So extend your left leg. Good, and bring your right knee in. I'm going to go like this. Right, never a perfect position <laughs> to show the ankle, but just stay here. Good, sit up straight, and then relax the foot. Feng Song. So, the first time I was in the middle of the day, 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 I need my heel underneath the mat, uh, the mat underneath my heel. Okay, now, so, the first part is a twist, so hands are on the both sides of the leg and twist the body over towards your left. Good, relax, enjoy. I can't see you, so sometimes it's good to kind of stick your tongue out. I do that a lot. Not everybody sees me do that, but no one sees you. So stick your tongue out and wiggle, wiggle, relax the jaw. Okay, inhale. Good. And 80% passing. You want to see all the jogging and the jogging, see how we have a single day, how you can do it. 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 So I can do it. Okay. So again, having that block, you know, 
maybe you're tighter or more open on this side. It doesn't matter. You can have it like this. You can have it like this. Right? Whatever's comfortable. And so if you want, slowly go deeper. So in yin yoga, we try our best to go deeper slowly, but trying our best not to come out of the pose. Yeah? You're working hard to go deep into the pose, but you want to really connected tissue the gunna so you hold because you want to hold it a little bit longer and I know sometimes you get to the place go a little bit deeper now you know 95 percent guys go a little bit deeper one more minute you have to enjoy I know sometimes you're like um, it gets a bit agitated you're like oh I want to get out of this stretch right but just try your best to to just breathe, you know. Uh, every exhale is a release, letting go, going deep into the stretch, you know. Especially the hamstrings are quite easy to open, but lower back, hips are a little bit tougher. Okay, holding for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, bring your hands underneath the shoulders. Take a moment, come up. So don't go all the way up, come into a 45 degree angle and hold. Walk your hands in between the legs. Yeah, so in a pancake position. Relax. And then slowly come into 80%. So maybe just the elbows down, relax. Walk and go here. Eyes are closed. I'm just breathing into the areas of tension. So cup hey fu hey ho some uh her gun go I do. So I sure some of you have heard me talk about how the body has a tendency to hold on to a lot of you know, it obviously has positivity, right? But it also has a lot of negative memories held in the body. You know, obviously a neglect of the physical body will make you tight, but sometimes when the emotional stress, right, um, the practice of not letting go of things that don't serve the person does, tend does have a tendency to really make the body quite stiff. Okay, so sometimes we go deep into this pose, let's go a little bit deeper now. And if we go deep into the pose and we don't breathe, that is where you're just rebuilding that stress, that negative energy. Right? So when you're in that deep pose, the most important aspect is that you need to breathe. Right? Hands down, slowly come up, come into a 45 degree angle and hold. Take a moment here. Remember the block goes into the knee. Good. Bring the elbow down. Good. And then with the right hand, open the chest. So, yin yoga, mo yoga zha guan zhao, yet, yet, hum zha hu sam. So, try to take out the, the, what we're used to, like coming into pose and just going straight down, right? I want you to go slowly. I really want you to feel what exactly the pose is doing for you and not just putting the body into a certain shape, right? Just really feeling. Right, so you want to relax the foot, yeah? open the body, Good. feel that stretch wherever it is. Good. As you start to soften the body, deepen the pose. Good. So the hands can go lower, in towards the knee leg. So remember, block helps elevate, hold the head, anything that feels good. Holding here. So, 
，就會防止你會唔需要嘅肚，誒唔需要嘅嘅集中去做呢啲位置。Right, so when you do have proper thick mat or proper kind of props in your practice, it really helps to、uh, elevate your practice, bring your focus more in towards the body as opposed to props and other stuff. Yeah, I go a little bit deeper now. Your thumb is too. Just remember the chest is opening the upper body somehow. Yeah, so making sure that as you go up and over, you're not neglecting your left waist, right? And more fun the jaw, the jaw you get sensi, right? How long they got the jaw you? You get sensi again. But I want you to think about lengthening that left side of the body more. You know, as if you're getting more space up and over towards the body. Get thirty more seconds. Samson, you see again. Right? So if that means you're not that deep, it's perfectly fine. But you might feel really deep, yeah. Totally. Keep the chest open. Make sure the head is relaxed. Go to Hagina, you found some. Yeah, bring your right hand on the mat. Slowly push your back self back up. And come straight into.、Uh, Erect position, so your head is lengthened straight up and hold. Keep your eyes closed. Take a moment.、Yeah. Now bring your legs into a butterfly position. Yeah, 双脚合埋一齐脚板底 Good. So you can have the the distance of your heel and your body a little bit further away. So 你个脚脚尖同嗰个啊人。Curl the green space. So it's like a chin set. You can see you have a diamond pose. Okay, so this part I want you to curl your spine. Remember what we did earlier? We had the knees and went back. Same position. Okay, bring your elbows down and bring your forehead towards your toes. Go at toe, hand towards your forehead, and hold here. If you don't feel much of a stretch. Walk your heels in a little bit more. Right, they go get on your shoes. You look at that. You should move. Come go. Good and curl it. Okay, you can have the elbows to the outside or wherever is comfortable. Okay. Time is passing so quick. Holding for five more breaths. Move a full cup. You keep the chin in towards the chest. Slowly come up. And then hug your knees in towards your chest. Lounge your feet on top. Yeah, and slowly make your way into a kneeling position. Quiet hand up. So just sit on your heels. Chol go get some. I'm going to go sideways. I want you to see the feet. Yeah, and hold here. Yeah, I want you to bring your. Heels to the outside now. So we're going to come into Virasana. Good, and sit down. So、uh, if you need, sit on the block and lengthen. Okay, but your feet are All right. So I want you to just see that the heels are out, and you're sitting in between the heels, and your toes are pointing back. Guys, you hung out. Okay.、Um, some people like to sit like this.、Um, it's really bad for your hips and your knees. So make sure that your toes are pointing back. You're gonna have your girdzi, hang girdzi, okay, and hold. Sit up straight. We're gonna hold this for around two to three minutes.、Um, it does get quite intense. So if any time you feel like you need to, like you wanna, you know, come out of the pose, I want you just to lean forward. Okay. If you have a block underneath your hips, you will not be lying down. Okay. So we will be coming into supine. So supta, supta virasana. So if you have a pepe head, you have a joint, you just don't fall down, okay? So you keep this here. If you feel like it's not right, you just take the block away. So the next step, if you have a block, is to take that block away, okay? Now if you're okay, bring your elbows down. So as you can see, when you lean back, tuck your tailbone a little bit, and then bring your elbows down. Okay, so you can see when you lean back, tuck your tailbone a little bit, and then bring your elbows down. And hold. If you know the pose, just please come straight into Supta Virasana. Otherwise, just taking step by step with me and hold. If it feels good, walk your elbows further forward and then bring your body down. Yeah. 
So just take a moment to really feel. Yeah, I don't want your knees to pop up. So go press it down. Yeah, so we're gonna make that commitment, okay? So stay where you are. We're gonna make that commitment that wherever you go, do not come back out, okay? So if you lie down, you're gonna stay lying down for the next minute and a half, okay? So in saying, well, you fun day, Jolla, these are my whole sum cup, okay? They fun day, Jolla, hold you go fun day, okay? And Moka his son, right? You're fun day, Jolla, the cup, they all go, right? It's off a his son. Okay, so when I started doing yoga, sitting like this was torturous, okay? So I don't want you to push yourself and just give your time, space for your body to open, okay? If you're lying down, you can hold your opposite elbows. Your arm going to stay up, right? Just to make sure that you guys are okay. So meaning when you sit down, make sure that the knees don't come up and the knees are together. Step up, hot my okay? okay? If you are lying down, you will have fun day job. Okay, I want you to notice, is your rib cage sticking up? Right, so wherever you are here, if you're here, I want you to slowly exhale and relax. Inhale, exhale, relax the rib cage down. So as we lie down, there's a natural curve, right? The Lordosa curve naturally is there. You don't need to flatten that, right? We're not doing any core work. Right? So just holding and breathing here. Right? So after we pass the minute mark is when the muscles are start to scream at you, right? Okay, so again, for the student that was talking about your hip flexors, this is extremely deep stretch for the soarts, right? But if you have super tight quads, but right, you've got to stretch the quads up before it goes into the hip flexors. Holding here. Let's hold for another 10 breaths. Okay, so your hands can be here, here, you can be sitting up. Just keep breathing. Yeah, so in preparation to get up, please slow down, Mandy, okay? Come up to your elbows. Okay, and slowly come into a seated position. Yeah, lean forward, and everybody come into a, a downward facing dog. Hago, sit. Just let the blood flow back into the legs and hold. Now bring your knees down, and please lie on your belly from the hotel. So just be comfortable. Shoot forward. So in Sphinx pose, shoulders and elbows are perpendicular. Okay. And just lengthening up here. Okay. If you find that, if you lay head on the head, if your your head is like really heavy and it's just having a very heavy day and your neck is stiff, right? Just rest your head on a block, and that's totally fine. Yeah, I don't want you to do this and like, and then you come out of the pose and. Your neck is like hurting and stuff, right? So make sure that you just, you're stretching. We're coming into a mini back bend, right? But then you don't want to strain certain areas in the body that are not. If you have any issues with the back, take care. If you have quite an open back, you can bring your feet together, right? Or you can have them hip width apart, whatever your practice is, okay? So bring your hands to the outer corner of your mat. My mat is huge, so don't look at my mat, okay? But your mat should be um, a little bit wider than the body. So bring your hands to the top of the mat. Now I want you to straighten your hands. So this is called seal pose. So feet are together or hip width apart. Yeah, and hold here. Yeah, if you want to go deeper, right, bring your elbows back down. Walk your hands further back. Yeah, and from here, press up. Okay. When your hands are on the mat, your index finger, this one, right? No, no, no. <laughs> it's pointing forward. So your shoulders are slightly outer rotated. Okay, and hold here. Find your breath. So remember when we did the cat and cow earlier in class, when we did um, the belly dropping down and your sit bones going back? I want you to get that feeling now. So relax your sit bones, relax. Right, so go hip form so and drop the belly down. Go okay, And your hands are anchoring you down to open the chest and hold. Right. Um, try your best um, to lock the arms out as much as you can. I have hyperextension, right? So I micro bend my elbows. Right, but if you bend them too much, it gets quite tiring. Right, you go like a sao zan zik mdong le ho lan ne tai go get ko lan ko sao han xin xiu xiu. Okay, so if your elbows are bent because your back is tight, I recommend you to walk your hands forward a little bit. Okay, and hold here. Okay, 
Now bring your elbows back down. So we're staying in the back end. Back bend. Good. Stay here. Bring your neck into a comfortable position and hold. Good. So bring your right elbow more towards the center. Yeah. And reach your left hand towards the left foot and hold. Okay. If you're not too sure about the inner rotation, and then uh, so just watch how I bring my foot in. You want to pull in, but you want to rotate it so the fingertips point down this way okay so you're holding it to the the inside of the foot you're bringing it in and the fingertips facing down okay try doing that and hold if you want to stay here you can if you want to go deeper you can straighten the right hand and hold All right so this position or this position anything is fine or even this okay hold So don't shrug the shoulders, push the shoulders away from you. Holding for 10 more breaths, I'll go full cup. So again, the belly is relaxed. Good. Our arms are strong. Hold for five, four, three, two, and first bring the elbow back down, then release the foot. Okay, come back into a sphinx, so don't lie down just yet. Okay, let's do the other side. Walk the left hand more to the center. Reach your right hand back, hold the foot. Take a moment. Okay, so So if this is enough for you, stay here. Okay, if you want, try to rotate it in and hold. Good, so if you can, slowly straighten your left hand and pull the leg in. You can't really see my foot here, but you're bringing the heel in towards the butt, hold here. Keep the belly button soft. Chest going forward, shoulders away from the ears. For five, four, three, two, and elbow down. Release the foot and lie in your belly. Fong Sun Wing. Breathe into the back. Okay, now turn around, turn around, turn around, and lie on your back. Fong Sun Wing. So just lie in the Shavasana and hold. We're going to do the chest opening. So if you have a block, I put the block just on the mat, right? Maybe a third down, right? Um, if you don't have the block, Right, just put anything. You put the towel that I said earlier. This towel. Okay. So you just want to lie. So it's right sitting right in between or below the shoulder blades. Yeah, and you want to lie down and you feel that stretch of the upper body. Right. So what you want to do is just walk around, walk on the block, feel it until you're like, oh, there it is, and just relax. Okay? So um, you could do this. I've seen students do this. I like this. So just tune that. So just work with what is your practice. Moha moha gum goha. So you feel it. And this is in. Do I feel good? And oh, there it is. And you're relaxed. Arms could go above your head, getting a deeper stretch. Good. Or you can just release them by the sides of the body. You can bring your legs into Supta Bada Konasana. Gabanda Hamai Daha Gobudika. And breathe. So there should be no pain, right? There should be just an open. So calling Matsyasana uh, uh, like fish pose. You're just opening the chest and hold. Okay, stay there. Close your eyes and breathe. Holding for 10 more breaths. Good, and then slowly kind of lift your upper body up a little bit, roll to a side, take the block away, and lie in Shavasana, Dayosik Panchando. So you're lying down. Feet are wide, hands are by the body. Okay, now I'll just 
to do it so you guys can see. Good, bring your feet together, bend your knees, drop your knees over towards your right, turn your neck towards the left, Ling Jun Han Jobi. Coming to a gentle twist. Back to center, switching sides. So I like to shift my hips so I get deeper into the twist. Right? Or just do anything that cuts that's comfortable for you. And twist. Five more breaths. Yun Shin Hama Dung Yan, Feng Shu Yu. Head comes back to the center, knees come back to the center. Give your knees a gentle hug and then come into Shavasana, Dayose. Feet are as wide as they want to be, hands are by the sides of the body, palms are facing up. Fingers are naturally curled. Relax your jaw, Feng Song Hapa. Closing your eyes. Bring your body to the place where it's resting. It's surrendering. You feel the movement of the belly going up and down as you breathe. Right? But you don't want to come to a place where you fall asleep. Right? You're aware of how the body is at the moment. Right? The places where the body is touching the mat and then surrendering that point down towards the floor. Okay? So okay? So you're kind of like letting your mat hold you and support you. So keeping your eyes closed. I'm going to read just a little bit out of one of my favorite books. So you can just stay there wherever you are. And just listen to my voice. Okay, it's just a short passage that I love that just has a gentle description of finding the, the beauty of aloneness, you know, being okay with being alone and not misunderstanding that aloneness as loneliness, right? Two very distinctive, right? So Liko Susu or Haiko Shu Dokchole Susu get passage. Right Ker Hai we guys gun case at Gao King um Hu Dok to Dan Dok get fun be you a Dan Dok Mugan to high Dan Dok. Strangers to ourselves. We are born alone, we live alone, and we die alone. Aloneness is our very nature, but we are not aware of it. Because we are not aware of it, we remain strangers to ourselves. And instead of seeing our aloneness as tremendous beauty and bliss, silence and peace, at easeness with existence, we misunderstand it as loneliness. Loneliness is a misunderstood aloneness. 
once you misunderstand your aloneness as loneliness, the whole context changes. Aloneness has a beauty, a grandeur, a positivity. Loneliness is negative, dark, and dismal. Loneliness is a gap. Something is missing. Something is needed to fill it, and nothing can ever fill it because it's a misunderstanding in the first place. As you grow older, the gap also grows bigger. Those who have known aloneness say something absolutely different. They say that there's nothing more beautiful, more peaceful, more joyful than being alone. After being in tune with your aloneness, you can relate. Then your relationship will bring great joys to you because it is not out of fear. Finding your aloneness, you can create, you can be involved in as many things as you want because this involvement will not anymore be running away from yourself. Now will be your expression. Now it will be the manifestation of all that is your potential. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and a longer exhale. Slowly move your head to the left and right. And then slowly bend your knees in towards your chest. Take a deep stretch if you need to, but otherwise rolling over towards your right and coming up into a seated position. If you want to stay in Shavasana, you're more than welcome just to end the class here, turn the phone off, right? If you're still with me, you should be in a seated position, hands into your heart center, stands up by somehow Jungan. Keeping your eyes closed, Boti Dungan Hamai. Again, closing your practice by thanking yourself for your efforts. And I thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Let's close together with one O. Inhale. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to come over. Hi, everybody. Are you still here? Thank you. Thank you, Connie. Thank you. Namaste. How are you feeling? <laughs> okay, ma da ga. Hi, gum. 如果你不想聽我講嘢,你可以熄咗個電話,你就唔使聽我講嘢, okay? So again, um, namaste, namaste, thank you. Um, let me know if there is any questions in regards to the practice, or if anything, uh, let me know in the comments, or you can send me a message uh, through social media somehow, and just let me know how you're feeling. Um, yin is a beautiful practice, and for my... Uh, uh, lovers of vinyasa, right, and hot yoga, which I totally love too. Ligam Jung sometimes balance it out a little bit with a, a slower practice, you know? Thank you. So, Gam Jung, Ping Han Fan, go yoga, go practice, right? They hoi jungi ho kick, but then yan yugo tai kick, kiss it, little show you ping han haga, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Okay, namaste. I'll see some, a few of you in class tomorrow, okay? And um, otherwise, I hopefully I will see you guys online again, okay? Thank you, thank you. Namaste, thank you.